In this series on how I record, edit, and mix my personal audiobooks, let's talk about audiobook file formats, you know, WAV versus MP3, and also how to organize your audiobook audio files on your computer as you record them. You know, in the previous video, I mentioned that I would teach you how to use SoundForge Audio Studio, the audio recording program that I've used to record my audiobooks for 20 years. Well, before I do, I think it's important to share with you that no matter what audio recording software you use, it's vital that you learn the answers to these two key questions. Number one, what audio file format should you record, save, and edit all of your audiobook audio file recordings in? And number two, how should you record and organize your audiobook files on your computer as you record and edit them? Mm. Now, why is this important to learn now? Because no matter what audio recording software you choose to use to record your audiobook with, you'll still need to follow these essential recording steps. Number one, always record, save, and edit your audiobook recordings in WAV file format and not in MP3, such as record and then save your recording as a WAV file. You see, this is because MP3 files are much smaller and have been compressed, so they lose sound quality every time you resave them or, you know, compress them. Just think of like making a copy on a copy machine. Every time you make a copy again and again and again, that copy is going to look weaker and weaker and it's not going to look like it's original form or original copy. So WAV files, on the other hand, are not compressed audio files. Consequently, WAV files will be almost 10 times larger in size than an MP3 audio file, but better quality and sound no matter how many times you resave that WAV file. A good thing. Lastly, and I'll repeat myself, record, save, and edit in WAV audio format. Then, when asked for an MP3 file, upon request, always perform a save as function of your WAV file or files and save them as MP3 128K stereo or CD quality audio file format for uploading to the web or sending to someone via email attachment, etc. What's more, save your MP3 files for your audiobook in a separate folder than your WAV files. This just helps keep things organized, you know, and I'm a big proponent for that. Now, number two, here's how I want you to save your WAV audio files for your audiobook as you record your book. For example, suppose you have a book with, mm, say, 10 chapters and some front and back pages to record. Well, see how each section has its own recorded WAV audio file and see how I named each audio file so that they appear in order, just like they are in the book. In this way, it makes it easy to see which parts of this audiobook were recorded. What's more, Record each section as its own individual audio file. Don't create one long audio file for your entire book. If ever you are asked for that, you can simply you know, create a huge mix file where you have each track one right after the other and then export one big long audio track. That's going to be a different story. But no, it's easier to record separate sections, record them well, give them the best ability of your recording talents, and then edit that little bit and know that that chapter alone was edited or that section was edited. Mm, good, and it sounds great. Move on to the next section. Even Audible, you know, Amazon, they only want individual tracks per chapter or section or part, etc. But I've always recorded this way because mm, back in the day you had CDs and when you wanted to go to the next song or the next track, it was next, next, next. And that's why I always liked recording my book in separate sections. So when the listener gets done listening to chapter four to get to the next chapter, all they have to do is next chapter one, next chapter two, next chapter three, chapter four, next chapter five. And they could just skip right to that section. Now, in this example, this is actually one of my books. Where are you and where art thou? Now, here's a real life example of one of my books that was a huge recording project. This audiobook has 71 individual audio tracks, as you can see, 
for like a total of like 12 hours. This is a 12 hour audiobook. I recorded everything in WAV first, then I saved each WAV file into its own MP3 file for future use. You know, record the audio first, save it in WAV, edit in WAV, and then when I was done, I would export this WAV file into its own MP3 folder as the MP3 that I wanted for future use. Now, if you just select this WAV folder, right click, properties, you can see these 71 files total about 7.13 gigabytes of data in size for again all 71 files in WAV format. The MP3 folder, on the other hand, select, right click, properties, is only 662 megabytes of storage space used up. What's the difference? You know, WAV files are huge, huge. MP3 files, not so big, they're compressed. So you can see there's a huge difference in size between the two audio file formats, WAV and MP3. Still, what do we record, save, and edit in WAV file format? Again, if someone wants an MP3 file of your audiobook, just save as that WAV file into its own MP3 folder, and then bam, upload or email them that audio file as an attachment, and you're off to the races. And that's it for this lesson on what audio file format to record, save, and edit your audio files in, and how to organize your audiobook recorded files as you record them on your computer, regardless of the audio recording software you choose to use, whether it's SoundForge Audio Studio, Audacity, GarageBand, WavePad, it doesn't matter. Hey, replay this video a few times. If you really want to reinforce these recording principles in your mind so that when recording your next audiobook, mm, you do it ever so subconsciously, naturally, and without effort. Come on, let's now continue to the next video tutorial in this series on recording audiobooks like I do, where I will teach you now how to use SoundForge Audio Studio, the audio recording program I've been using for mm, 20 plus years to record my audiobooks at home. Come on, let's check it out.